We all know about World War II. It was the deadliest military conflict in history. An estimated total of 70 to 85 million people perished during this war. Despite the death of so many people and the use of so many weapons, do you believe if anyone tells you that there is a bomb that is 10 times more powerful than all the weapons used during World War II? We are talking about Tsar Bomba, which is the most powerful nuclear weapon ever built. But why? Why Tsar Bomba is considered as the most deadliest weapon? On October 30, 1961, a specially equipped Soviet 295 bomber flew toward Navia Zemlya, a remote chain of islands in the Arctic Ocean that the USSR frequently used as a site for nuclear tests, accompanied by a smaller plane, equipped with a movie camera and instruments for monitoring air samples. But this wasn't just a routine nuclear test. Attached to the underside of the plane was a thermonuclear bomb that was so big it wouldn't fit inside the normal interior bomb bay. The cylindrical device was 26 feet long and weighed nearly 59,525 pounds. The device had the prosaic official name of Item 602, but it's gone down in history with the nickname of Tsar Bomba, the Russian way of calling it the Emperor of Bombs. This three-stage bomb was unparalleled in power. It had a 100 megaton capacity, though the resulting fallout from such a blast was considered too dangerous for a test situation. Thus, it was modified to yield 50 megatons, which was estimated to be about 3,800 times the strength of the U.S. bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. At approximately 11.32 a.m. Moscow time, Tsar Bomba was dropped over the Mityushika Bay test site on the deserted island of Navia Zemlya. It exploded about 2.5 miles above the ground, producing a mushroom cloud more than 37 miles high. The flash of the detonation was seen some 620 miles away. The resulting damage was equally massive. Severny, an uninhabited village 34 miles from ground zero, was leveled and buildings more than 100 miles away were reportedly damaged. In addition, it was estimated that heat from the blast would have caused third-degree burns up to 62 miles distant. Although the detonation was intended to be secret, but was detected by United States intelligence agencies. The Tsar Bomba was a hydrogen aerial bomb, also known as a thermonuclear weapon, which is usually described as a more advanced and powerful version of an atomic bomb. While atomic bombs use either uranium or plutonium in most cases, hydrogen bombs also need additional isotopes of hydrogen, called deuterium and tritium. The reaction that causes the explosion is also different. Atomic bombs rely on fission, a process of compressing the core of uranium or plutonium splitting it into parts, and therefore releasing a huge amount of energy. On the other hand, hydrogen bombs use not only the energy from fission, but also secondary fusion, which makes the explosion much stronger. Although a success, Tsar Bomba was never considered for operational use. Given its size, the device could not be deployed by a ballistic missile. Instead, the bomb had to be transported by conventional aircraft which could easily be intercepted before reaching its target. So, hopefully now, you know what Tsar Bomba is and why it is considered as the most deadliest weapon in the world. If you think this video is informative, do like this video and subscribe our channel. May science bless you.